Chef Philip Lowe of Jasmine Restaurant at the Bellagio in Las Vegas opens the menu this time. He presents lobster dumplings, here cooked in boiling water, not steamed. The entree is cooked by Will Greenwood at the Sunset Grill in Nashville. It is a roasted beef tenderloin roulade stuffed with a country ham and mushroom mixture. For dessert, we travel to Atlanta and Gary Many of Canoe Restaurant. At taping time, the restaurant hadn't opened, but the chef came up with a banana tart anyway. Philip Lowe began his cooking career in Hong Kong at the Flower Lounge, then moved to San Francisco when the company opened a restaurant in the Bay Area. Now he oversees personnel and develops menu items for Jasmine, the upscale Chinese operation at Bellagio. Here is his lobster dumpling appetizer. Today the first course is uh, going to be the lobster dumpling. These are all the in ingredients, the main lobster, and the ginger, and bok choy, and uh, pastica wrapping, and egg, and this uh, jingong vinegar for the sauce. The chef begins by mincing parboiled bok choy, the Chinese cabbage. Also diced ginger. The mixture that will be contained in the dumplings includes fresh diced lobster meat. Sugar and salt are added to the lobster and bok choy. A touch of sesame oil. then an egg white. Chopped ginger. These are pot sticker wrappers. First, using a little bit of water to wrap the wrapper. Now I, I cook the dumpling. The dumplings are cooked in boiling water for about three minutes. So let me take this out.
so it's re ready. We serve with the uh, ginger and vinegar. A dipping sauce includes vinegar, sugar, and ginger slices. It's warmed in the wok until the sugar dissolves. The ginger slices are removed before service. It's all done. Greenwood has been around. After graduating from the CIA, he worked with Madeleine Kamen, then in Baltimore and Washington, D.C. In the early 90s, he was invited by the Clintons to apply for the White House chef position. Fortunately, he didn't get it. From Sunset Grill, here is a beef roulade. What we're going to make today is a, uh, a tenderloin of beef roulade that's stuffed with a shiitake and uh, country ham mousse on top of a spinach souffle, a potato cake with a, a nice gloss. So we start off, we're going to need to make a spinach souffle. And I take my uh, fresh spinach that I wilted and blanched earlier, I just puree it. Take the cream and you thicken it with a little bit of cornstarch. You're going to add that to your spinach mixture. As you can see, it gets very, very thick. Egg whites are beaten to the soft peak stage. The egg whites are nice and stiff. You want to add just a little bit to the spinach mixture. Then add the rest of it. And you want to fold in. Be very gently how you fold, going from the bottom up to the top. You want to make sure you keep as many of the air pockets as you can. I'm going to take a greased uh, half sheet pan with some paper and very gently smooth this down over the hotel pan, making it even all the way across. Then you put it in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, making sure the middle is the last part to cook, so that's going to be the part that you test. Got the tenderloin. We're going to make a pocket. We're going to cut it about a quarter of an inch and just kind of unroll it. I'm using tenderloin. You can use any kind of meat, really. Uh, if you're going to keep it rare, it should be a tenderloin or something tender like that. As you can tell, it's nice and flat. Salt and pepper the inside. Then I'm going to make the stuffing which is uh, shallots, country ham that's been cut up, chopped up shiitake mushrooms, breadcrumbs, puree that a little bit, I'm going to add some eggs. A little cream. Then 
take some of the stuffing and you put a thin layer along the tenderloin. And then you just roll it up. Okay, after that you're gonna need to tie up the tenderloin. The beef will be seared on top of the stove, then go into a 375 degree oven until the internal temperature is 120 degrees. Tie one end and you twist it around. And just kind of thread it back and forth. You'll end up keeping it secure. You just twist it around and go right underneath. And go like this. Next, we're going to make the potato cakes. You want to grate potatoes and then really drain out the juice very well. As you can tell, there's a lot of juice in here. Add a little salt and pepper, a little egg, and just a tiny bit of flour, just enough to kind of bind it together, just like Mama used to make here. You want to get the pan medium hot. As you can tell, there's a little bit of smoke here. And you want to put your potato cake in. Now you can cook it on the stove like this, or what I do, put it right in the oven. We're going to take some, some gloss that I've already made earlier. This is heavily reduced beef stock. A little bit of tomato concasse and a little bit of fresh tarragon and some garlic cloves that I've roasted in the oven earlier also. Now they should just be roasted in a little bit of oil until they're nicely soft and just heat that sauce up. Finish the dish, take a little bit of our sauce. Spinach souffle that's been heated up, and the beef. And there you go, you've got a dish. In 1995, before Canoe Restaurant opened, Gary Menny, shown here with owner Jerry Klaskala, was appointed executive chef. Since opening, the restaurant has done well. In fact, the company now owns two more operations in the Buckhead area. Here is Chef Menny's banana tart with cinnamon ice cream. For the cinnamon ice cream, we'll combine the cream. Two cups of heavy cream. Milk. Two cups. Cinnamon. Vanilla. Bring the soup oil, cut it off, and we'll let it set up 20, 25 minutes. Let the cinnamon and vanilla come out. For the banana tart, we have a mixture of fresh butter and honey melted. It works better with the honey, especially if it's warm. Coat the bottom of your mold. Nice add sugar.
slice your bananas evenly. And then arrange neatly on the bottom. Next, for the phyllo, we'll take one sheet of phyllo. I'll cut this out. <laughs> Here's an object lesson on what happens if you let phyllo dry out a little. You should keep a damp towel over it. Again, with the honey and the butter, lightly coat your phyllo dough. Note that the chef achieved several layers by simply folding the phyllo dough. Now for the top bananas, you can add a touch more sugar. Some fresh butter is always nice. Bake at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes or until golden brown and crisp. Now the chef returns to the cinnamon ice cream, combining eight egg yolks with one half cup sugar. Once your cinnamon, milk, and cream mixture has steeped, add sugar and your egg yolks. Mix until combined. Slowly add your warm mixture in. Reincorporate. And you'll cook this over low heat until it coats the back of the spoon or nappe stage.
The chef finishes with caramel sauce. 